Hi everybody, today I want to show you a new module for the TNT Blast Jammer series. This time it's a concrete powder to concrete converter and I will show you three versions, so from simple to more sophisticated. So let's start with the Bog Standard version. So this converts concrete powder to concrete just by pushing it next to water. Then we have a storage on the side where you can store your concrete powder blocks. This dropper would supply you with new concrete powder. The piston pushes it out and here we just have a clock attached to power both the piston and the dropper. So let's go into Game of Zero to test it out. So I just need to AFK here and hold down the right mouse button. As you can see it's all perfectly timed. If you look at my hotbar, the amount of items in my yeah, hotbar stays the same. As long as you don't have any lag, then it's perfectly timed. It's also possible to put different colors into the chests here, but then you need to fill up your inventory to make sure that you wouldn't use a second slot. So this little module is really perfect if you've already built one of my other farms, for example a cobblestone or a tree farm. Since yeah, it doesn't require any food to break blocks and also it doesn't require any tools. Also it's relatively fast. You would convert 18,000 blocks power. So here over there I attach the module to yeah, the blast chamber which the tree farm is also attached to. So here both streams would merge and yeah, as you can see it, it's the whole concept behind it. You can build one blast chamber and attach different modules to it. What's also noteworthy is that it works the best if you aim at this bottom corner of the block below. So otherwise there's some sort of chance if you, you know, especially on play on servers that you wouldn't place them every four game ticks. So in single player works almost yeah, all cases except you aim at the piston. But yeah, I've been playing on the server a lot and it's really best if you aim at this spot right here. This is really reliable. So this is the second version that adds a little bit of functionality. It uses a glitch in the game that allows you to change the metadata of gravity blocks. So we can change any color of the concrete powder blocks by using the system right here. So let's turn it on. I added a little command block for the demonstration. It just places blocks right here so I don't have to stand there. So here we change the white concrete powder in this case to green powder. And this would work with any input color, so you don't need to use white, it also works with black and really any concrete powder color can be converted into anything. Let's turn this back off. If you want to change out the colors that you convert into, you need to replace those blocks. So now we change from green to blue and yellow, so we can actually run it with uh, two colors at the same time. Let's turn this back on. You can see, get different colors. Since the TNT Blast Chamber already splits up all the items into two streams, yeah, we're going to separate them again. So on the left side we will have the blue ones and on the right side the yellow ones. I didn't mention in this video so far, so this yeah, TNT Blast Chamber is really efficient. Uh, there's just 0.3% loss. So of 210 items that you break with a single TNT, you will get 209.7% uh, and 209.3 back. And yeah, it's really efficient, so you just need one single piece of TNT per 210 blocks. And you can also use a different glitch at the moment that yeah, you can dupe TNT entities. So as long as this glitch is in the game, you don't even need to invest any TNT. Also this drop here is necessary, since the way the color conversion works is that you would turn the yeah, concrete powder blocks into concrete powder entities, the falling block entities. And they need to fall a certain distance um, so they wouldn't land on top of the piston head. Uh, so they have a certain velocity and if they yeah, don't fall fast enough, then it would pile up. So we have a yeah, fall distance of 15 blocks here, that's enough. The second system just has the small flaw. Changing out the colors is a little bit inconvenient since you need to climb into the redstone. And that's why I made a third version which automatically does it for you. So this is especially interesting yeah, for people that enjoy yeah, building redstone contraptions just because they can. And yeah, we can actually change out the colors. So what we do here, here is that yeah, the colors we convert into, we retract those pistons and yeah, the, the blocks would fall down and get placed inside of this piston loop. Then at the top here we have another yeah, 
metadata changer or color converter, and we change into the yeah, selected color. So here we have a selector panel. Now let's just switch to black. As you can see we drop, uh, drop the blocks and we get new black blocks. So let's do it once more. Switch to blue, for example. So you can see here we convert the white ones into blue and they land in the color converter. So now I can turn this on. If can it and on the right you can actually see that yeah, blocks are converted into blue. So yeah, the place in the bottom right corner now I saw it that the speed was a little bit lower. Okay, so let's, let's turn this off and select different color now yeah, orange. Need to wait a little bit until blocks are in place. And now let's do orange. So you can see changes to orange. So in case you want to build one of the systems, you can check out the world download, but I even made tutorials in separate videos. So there's a separate tutorial video just for the TNT Blast Chamber that shows how to build everything up to this point. Then I showed, also showed in a separate video how to build this metadata changer or color converter, but I kept it more general there since you could also use it with sand here, but um, yeah, using sand right here that wouldn't be a good choice. Um, yeah, you need to really use it just with a concrete powder only here. And I made a full tutorial on the whole system block by block. And the yeah, super simple version, which is the first one I showed here, it's identical just with the left side right here. I also show how to build this in the color converter tutorial. So in case you want to build this huge contraption here to change out the colors automatically, um, so yeah, since I suspect not a lot of people would actually want to do that, you can check out the world download. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.